hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel noor networks in this tutorial we are going to configure http cookie based persistence before we proceed with the configuration let's have a brief discussion on http cookie based persistence so guys f5 big ip cookie persistence is a feature on the F5 Big IP load balancer that enables session persistence by inserting a cookie in the client's browser. This cookie contains information that allows the load balancer to direct subsequent requests from the same client to the same server in a server pool ensuring that the client session remains on the same server for the duration of the session. This is useful for the application that requires session persistence such as e-commerce site, web mail application and online banking. So now let's begin with the configuration for the cookie persistence profile in F5 Big IP. The very first step is to go to the local traffic, click on profile and then go to persistence. So guys, if you remember in our previous tutorial, we have configured source IP based persistence profile. Additionally, I would like to inform that in the tutorial number 13, we have learned the drawbacks of source IP based persistence profile. Now let's create a HTTP profile. And one more thing over here, you can see there are many pre-configured profiles which you can use on your web server as per your requirement. So now let's see, we will see how we will create a HTTP cookie based persistence profile click on create button over here and the name we are going to give is cookie profile and the persistence type we are going to select cookie moving on we are going to just check this box over here and the cookie method we will prefer http cookie insert Additionally, you can see there are option for HTTP cookie passive, HTTP cookie rewrite and in tutorial number 13, we have discussed about all this method one by one in detail. So for now, we will select HTTP cookie insert. Moving on, we are going to specify the cookie name. Just check this box over here and the name we will give as, let's say server one application cookie this should be the unique name that identifies the application now over here we will check this box as well allow send cookies and enable this this ensures that the cookies are always inserted in the client browser and finally we are going to define the expiration value just select over here and we will define the expiration value over here let's say we will say for two hours this ensures that how long the cookie will remain valid before it expires once this is done click on finish button we have created a http cookie based persistence profile with the name cookie profile. Now it's a time to assign this persistence profile to the virtual server. Click on virtual server and then on virtual server list. We will be assigning this on this virtual web server. So click over here. Just add a note that in order to assign the cookie persistence profile to a virtual web server, virtual web server must have a HTTP profile attached to it. So going over here, you will see that there is an option HTTP profile client. Just select this as HTTP. So basically we have attached a HTTP profile to this virtual web server. And if the server is HTTPS, then in that case, the SSL profile you have to select as client SSL. Then the server SSL profile has to be attached which is going to be this one server SSL profile. You have to attach this. Since uh, in our case it is HTTP, we have attached the HTTP profile over here and we will update this information. Now it's a time to assign the 
persistence profile to the virtual web server by going to resources and select the default persistence profile to be cookie profile from the drag down menu and update it so this is how guys you will be creating a http based cookie profile http cookie based profile depending upon your requirement what type of http cookie uh, you need and finally you will be assigning it to the virtual web server that's all in this tutorial thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please subscribe it now see you in the next tutorial